Well, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? It is finally official that original report from a very weird source on either Thursday or Friday that a lot of people didn't believe was correct. It said Joe Biden would drop out on Sunday. He announces it basically at around 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. He is not running for re-election. Now, it is important to note in his little dropout speech here, July 21st, 2024, this is news in terms of presidential history. Biden uh, does say that I know none of this could have been done without you. Of course, he talks about the greatest economy. It's all lies, whatever. The stuff that I wanted to see is, is he dropping out right now when Kamala's being installed or is he serving, serving to the end of the four-year term? And it does say that I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term so in essence, the ridiculous horse and po pony show where we already know Biden is not doing anything, he is technically going to continue to be the president. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. So guys, I do plan on doing a primetime live stream tonight at around 8, maybe 8.30 Eastern to talk about all of this. We're going to have more information tr trickling out this afternoon. It's probably going to be all reported whether they go with Kamala, whether it is an open convention. I would imagine they would go with Kamala and then have a token white guy from one, one of the Rust Belt states or maybe a swing state like Arizona. That is the maintained belief, and that's a belief among a lot of people, not just me. That's likely what's going to be happening. But overall, we all knew that Joe Biden was never fit to be president in 2020. A lot of people say he got elected because of Trump, the rhetoric against him. Obviously, the idea, he, you know, him receiving the most votes in history of U.S. elections, it's completely ridiculous. And, and for really over a year now, they blatantly lied about Biden, where his health was, how he was functioning. Then the reports started trickling in. The media turns on him. CNN turns on him. Obama turns on him. Pelosi turns on him. Schumer turns on him. And that's why I had said the past three or four days, I guarantee Biden will be dropping out. It's not a prediction. It's just based off of they cannot recover from the dialogue that, that they've used when Obama turns on you. And then Biden, the, the idea was he somehow would win the power struggle, possibly with the help of Jill and Hunter. Now, originally, I think they wanted him to drop out earlier before the Trump assassination attempt. Obviously, they didn't know that was going to happen. But just earlier, like right after the debate, and that was when they went to Camp David Jill and Hunter screaming at the top of their lungs. They get Biden to stay in. I think he wanted to drop out. And he apparently he said, show me evidence that I cannot beat Trump. If I see that evidence, I will drop out. And apparently he did see that evidence. And none of us are surprised by this. A lot of people kind of saying this is pretty much what was expected. But it is still huge news in terms of presidents and, and the history of it. I think the Democrats are obsessed with history. That's tr why they tried to impeach Trump and you know twice. So they put that stain on his resume. And the reason why I think they're going to have Biden finish out his term is because they think it would be like a stain on the Democrats if he had to step down, you know, three fourths or like four fifths of his way through his presidency. That's how these people think. So it's like, oh, Biden served his full term. Yeah, bullshit. We all know it's ridiculous. He shouldn't be president right now. And they're going to try and do this thing. I mean, how do you do that? If you're not, if you're not going to seek reelection, how do you convince people that you're actually serving right now? Other people were talking about that. Like if he's going to step down, why would it be a thing where he immediately does it? Will he announce later this week that, oh, I just don't think, you know what it's going to be? It's probably going to be the narrative. I can serve the rest of my term, but I'm just worried about the country. I might not be able to serve another four years. And remember, this is what I always said about independent people. They knew it was a total charade. The idea of voting voting for Biden again. How about all the Biden loyalists now? That's very embarrassing because there were a lot of people that they kept saying Biden's the guy. Biden's going to run. We got to vote for him. A lot of like just normal normies on Twitter. You would get, remember when they started doing the whole attacks against Biden where it was like all the big time liberal influencers, literally influencers who were actors finally coming around and saying, you know, we like Joe Biden, blah, 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 but he needs to drop out for the good of the Democratic Party. And there's thousands of accounts with thousands of likes saying, you bastard, how dare you turn on Joe Biden? He's the only one that beat Trump. This is ridiculous. So there's a lot of those people. Of course, obviously those people are literally gerbils. The Democrats could give them Joseph Stalin and they'd vote for him. The point of it is just embarrassing for them. Not that it matters. Nobody's going to care about them, but 
it is interesting to see all these Biden loyalists, just random people who, I mean, you can see, and that's why all like the mainstream younger liberals started to turn on Biden because they're a lot more reactionary and they understood that Biden was so old and it was a charade. Some of the older people were sticking by Biden. That's why Biden's numbers with like people above the age of 65 in some polls were actually better than Trump, the conservative. So all of this is happening and now Biden is gone and we got reports yesterday that Hillary wanted Biden to stay in the race. Were those erroneous? Were they correct? Is Hillary still going to try and steal it at the RNC, possibly in a battle with Kamala? Is anyone else involved in this? Kamala possibly becoming the president, we would expect. And then, well, I guess not becoming the president, but but running. I mean, this is such so ridiculous. So technically what he's saying, we're not going to have the first female president unless Kamala wins because she's not going to be the president, he's serving until the end of his term. At least that's what's, that's what's being reported right now. We're going to get more news here in a few hours probably. And of, of course, in the next week. But he's serving to the end of his term. Kamala's going to be doing all the campaigning. At least that's what I would think. Again, maybe there is an open convention. I don't know yet, but it's probably going to be Kamala. The VP is going to be some white dude probably. You know, Pennsylvania, maybe Whitmer, a dual female ticket there in Michigan. But it's going to be a Rust Belt governor, whoever. And that's what I would expect in terms of that. But that's just my reaction, obviously. I mean, this you can read the, qu- the statement if you want. I really didn't even read the first paragraph when I saw America has the strongest economy uh, in the world. Well, we always have the strongest economy. You, w- Whether you're in office, Trump or whoever, we're always going to have the number one GDP. The problem is it's, a lot worse, it's in a lot worse place due to the ridiculous inflation uh, that's been caused by this administration and, and so that's basically it. Joe Biden says he will not run for re-election. Biden is out, quits presidential race. Biden officially drops out of the 2024 presidential race. So that is all the reports right now. And not surprised, not surprised. I think it's going to be Kamala and uh, some white dude. Maybe they want to balance the ticket. Minority female, white male. It's what they did in 2020. They forced Biden to pick a minority female. And there is going to be some interesting thoughts because Biden is like, we're going to have to see with the convention. Now, maybe it will be reported and they'll all kumbaya. It was reported that Michelle Obama was 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 like acting as the chief of staff, the shadow chief of staff for Kamala, assembling her cabinet already behind the scenes. The Obamas totally turned on Biden. It was reported a few weeks ago. Michelle Obama did not like what Biden was doing and how he was treating some of the family, like the daughter-in-law or something. So, so they turned on them. And now if that is true with Michelle Obama, what she's doing to Kamala, it does seem like Kamala is going to be the choice if the Obamas want Kamala. Seems like they run that party. And once the Obamas turned fully on Biden, it was pretty much done. And it always seemed like token, the idea that Biden was saying, fuck off, stop, I'm the one running. I think it was mainly influenced by Jill and Hunter. And once that kind of dried up and once the assassination attempt happened and now we see all these polls, Trump's leading by seven in Michigan. He's up by five in Pennsylvania. I mean, these are big, big leads. And I did a you know a video talking about Trump with an 83% chance to win at this point based on analytical forecasts. And we would expect possibly to be even higher than that. But I do think they need to move quickly here. They do have the, their convention upcoming Will there be fireworks or will we know beforehand possibly that they're all going to go, the delegates are all going to go with Kamala? It's going to be one of those two options. I would imagine they would all go with Kamala. They don't want to be disheveled and do this whole shouting match. And I know the report's coming out. Hillary possibly being an option seems very unlikely to me. So uh, that is just what I can say in regards to Biden stepping down. But no, he must serve the last, you know, what is it now? I mean, he's going to be serving in a January uh, likely when Trump takes over, what, around the 20th, the 21st of January, he officially goes into office, uh, or heaven forbid Kamala does, but that seems very unrealistic at this point. We would expect Donald Trump, not not that this, it, like, does this g- give Trump a better chance? Is it a worse chance? You know, the reason Democrats will say it gives them a better chance is because of the VP pick being likely from the Rust Belt, and that's very important for them. I don't think it matters either way. I had said for a while, there's no way Biden can win. They have to move on from him. And they finally pressured him enough to where they are moving on from him. So that's basically all I'm going to say right now when it comes to Biden not not running for re-election. But oh, he's still going to serve. Yeah, he's still good enough to be the president. Of course, they think we're dumb. It, it, it's so ridiculous. But either way, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.